loud mouth ghetto girl. Loud mouth ghetto. Loud mouth ghetto girl. Loud mouth ghetto girl. We might just get hit with the Rico. That's how they get on my people. They take somebody like Huey and they make them seem like Nino. Hey, it's your girl Amber Hassan. Welcome to another episode of the Loud Mouth Ghetto Girl Podcast. Ox is home. Uh, what's up? What's yo, up? Yo, what's happening? What's popping? How you doing, sis? Man, I'm doing well. Alhamdulillah. How you doing? Alhamdulillah, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm enjoying it all, you know? I heard that. That's for sure. Yeah, so um, you just recently got home. Yeah. So yeah, how, yeah. Long, how long were you away for? Uh, almost three years. Almost three years. Yeah. Um, I had some issues with the fans that uh, haunted me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had to go get my pound of flesh. Gotcha. Uh, uh, I feel blessed to be home, and I'm hoping I could, you know, be a part of doing something to help the brothers that's still in there, reaching back for some of my comrades, cause I met some really honorable dudes when I was there. It was a lot of it was a lot of hot dudes there too, but yeah. you know we don't talk about them. But I met a lot of real honorable dudes there, and um, you know I just want to be able to reach back, cause a lot of them dudes not coming home, so I'm blessed. Yeah, definitely. Um, so tell me about that. Like, what type of things? What you want to do? What you? What you? What are you doing now? Well, cause you hit the ground running. You know what I'm saying? Like you weren't playing. You, you. Yeah. Well, right now, uh, my partner shot born. He got a book out. Uh, the Rose is a star. Mm-hmm. And that's doing good. He's still incarcerated. So, we uh we helping Adams Family Press. Got you. Push their product right now. Okay. Y'all and, heard that? Um, Adams Family Press? Let Adams Family Press. Go look up Adams Family Press. Look up Sean Bourne. Follow him on Instagram. I think it's at Sean Bourne 44. Okay. So uh, we working with him. Um, I got a brother named Corey Moore that does art. So we trying to get together like maybe some sort of exhibit for him. Okay. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. But... You know, I'm really just looking at the landscape and trying to see where where I fit in as far as on a more uh, mainstream level. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I see um, now it's almost like uh, prison reform is the cool thing to do. Right. So I don't want to be in it. I've never been in the political world. I don't want to go stepping into that world and then end up around the wrong people or just in a trick bag, so. I feel that. You know, I'm, I'm trying to find out what's the right way So you to wanna go. do more like grassroots type stuff, like person to person, like, hey, I, I know who I'm helping, I know who I'm dealing with. Well, well, well no, is, no it, it, I wanna do grassroots stuff, okay. but I don't think it's about the person I'm helping, mm-hmm. because I'm willing to, you know, I, I wanna help all the incarcerated men. Okay. Um, No, I'm saying, these different organizations and stuff that they got out here now, yeah. I don't really know a lot about them. So, so I feel you, and that's you know that's that's I appreciate the fact that you even consider that because a lot of people were just like, oh, they they want me to work with them or they want me to uh, be a spokesperson or they want me to do this, and you don't even know the background or the history of the organization, and they could be against everything you stand for. And you know? not only that, you know. Um, if you ain't been through it, it's hard for you to really, really, really get it. Yeah. And some people, it seems, um, they're doing it for uh, what they, like, they do it for clout. Yeah. So, I don't know if they really know Right. what it's like or if they really care. And I'm a person, I care. So, okay. whatever I do, it got to be 100 above board on all levels yeah you know that's um that takes maturity for people to come to that point because you know within helping people a lot of times we do get glorified and you know different things like that and that can be that can mess with people's head just like any other type of fame or whatever so being you know deciding to take your time and see like you said check out the landscape and see see where you're supposed to be with that that's you know that's i think that's a good way to go about it Definitely. I, I'm hoping so, you know, we trying to be wise in, in our hey. decision making, you know? Definitely. So tell me about this sweatshirt you got on. So, oh, you like this joint? I like it. Um, 
It's a, a clothing company called Ash Shakur. Okay. And uh, it's owned by a Muslim sister from Baltimore. Uh, check her out on Instagram at Ash Shakur underscore, I think. Okay. I think we'll find them. You guys can put the link in the thing yep, or something. Yep. So anything that I say wrong, y'all forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, you know, sure God can fix it. Yeah, sure, sure God, yeah, let him, let him. <laughs> but uh, she got a dope clothing line. You know, uh, for years I've always uh, kind of pushed behind Muslim clothing lines. Um, and the sister, she definitely on the come up and she grinding hard. I love, so y'all go you know, check out I love support. Muslim uh, urban wear. You know what I'm saying? Because Definitely. we are, you know, as black Muslims, we, oh, yeah, we, check y'all check it out. <laughs> y'all see them fall colors popping? Uh, um, but no, you know, we, we are, we do have an identity that's, you know, that's our own. And, Definitely. And we, I think we should be able to, you know, I mean, have yeah. halal clothing that represents us in, you know, in our culture as well. De- Definitely. Um, you know, I like to think I'm one of the um, front runners or pioneers of that as mm-hmm. far as just trying to uh, make our vibe stand out front, you know, so that we never just try to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Because we got our own thing. We got the, own, our, the way we talk, the way we move. Yeah. So uh, we got our own thing, especially uh, over here in America in the neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? In the hood, right? Mm-hmm. You know the, 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 the you know the hood Muslims. I don't want to say it like you, that you stuff. Know, and you I, I, I don't want to say that like don't that. I don't think you know when you mean hood, you just really mean you, vicinity of you, where they at, where they right. living. You, you know, know, within the urban maybe, neighborhood. Yeah, the urban community, uh, the urban Muslim community, we definitely got our own thing. Yeah. We, we even got our own slang. You know, like yeah. you know the way we talk. So you know, you know and that's I think that you know to show that you have to show you know i see a lot of shows that will talk about you know american muslims and a lot of times black muslims are you know completely like our representation is seeing us and seeing us for real well, for real well you know i think that's because um i think of course they might not be ready for our story but i'm gonna say that also on our part we we a real closed off uh you right unit you of, right of the, the, you know over you know you, everybody can't just, you, can't you know, just come around. Right in. A lot of people that want to come, they, they might not even know how or where they to might approach, not, yeah. you, you right. Know, you to right. get with the, the, the people that's really on the ground level for that type of, to be able to produce that level of authenticity you right. on film. you definitely right about that. So that's that. why we're doing it ourselves. Definitely. Now, we know? have to, though, to tell the so, story for real. Yeah, that was a great we segue. We have to. to uh, <laughs> So you know, we're about to start shooting a movie. <laughs> so let's that talk about segment. that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your new project with John Doe. Like, let's talk about the work. Cause like you, you come, you just got home. Like people, you know, it might not seem like it cause you working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, you know, you got that fire behind you. So tell the people what you're doing. Okay. So uh, right now we, uh, we putting together a casting. We putting together a, uh, the budgets, everything to begin filming a new film. Um, we're gonna keep the name under wraps right now. Okay. But we are definitely about to start filming a new film here in Baltimore uh, at Brothers Auto Auto and Tires. So if you're looking to be in a film and you in Baltimore or the surrounding areas, be on the lookout. Right. We're about to start shooting a film. And uh, that's going to be dope. It's mm-hmm. going to be crazy. We're going to surprise y'all. Uh, the Aki Montega story is, uh, we about to drop that thing, you know. Probably by the time this get out, uh, this it'll be either a dropping or really just yeah. about to drop. So what's the Aki Montega story? Tell me, you know, let the people know what that is. Well, uh, Aki Montega is actually a, a brand that I own. Um, it represents the brother dope mm-hmm. or the brother butter, right? Right. So uh, it's a play on words. From and for those of you who don't speak African American vernacular English, it's the brother is dope. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole sentence, but you know, black people, we can say the brother dope yeah. and we got it. So I do have, you know, <laughs> constituents who are not of our community. And they'll be like, the brother dope, the like brother what? Dope. No, the brother <laughs> is dope, the is is missing, it is implied, you guys. That's the African American vernacular English lesson for you all. <laughs> so uh it's a play on of uh, words. And it's kind of a representation of um, my style mm -hmm. that I have been just kind of crafting how I wanted to rep to present uh, my style from, you know, the way I dress to the way we move around, the cars we drive, mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of the things we uh, been through on the street side of things, right? So we putting the Aki Montega brand out and it's gonna be like um, exclusive clothing pieces, you know, exclusive hats. You know, we gonna we might put out some frames. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, different pieces of art exclusivity. Okay. Happy my Taylor brand is an exclusivity brand. Now you mentioned right? art, and you know, cause you so you look at that as you know, like uh, just another art form, right? Well, yeah, I look at everything that we do as um, painting a picture. Mm -hmm. So if you know anything about any of the stuff I've done. You know, art is always incorporated into the visuals of uh, what we're doing mm -hmm. because I feel like just the songs we make to the visuals and the way we present ourselves, I feel like that's art within itself. Okay. Right? And I'm into art. I'm into, you know, the world is art. Yeah. Right? So, the Aki Montega story. We present. We we we're introducing the brand through the Aki Montega story because it was a story for for us to get to the level or to the point where we was at. You know where we at from. You know the things we are uh, were going through in the street mm -hmm. to becoming uh, what some would consider successful and then getting snatched up by the feds. You know to the triumphant return and returning back to the game, but um, elevated right. mentally, physically, spiritually, and just feeling like um, you kind of buried the past and you ready to really kind of just enjoy and live in the sunshine. Okay. That's the Aki Montana story, right? It's not like a story you know people gonna be looking to listen to. Definitely, it's, it's gonna be some, it's gonna be hard though, I ain't gonna front. <laughs> We, 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 we know what to expect. Any anybody you who know, you know anybody yeah. who's a fan, they know what to expect. So you know we, we got that. It's an EP, but uh, the big thing everybody uh, starting to talk about is uh, we got a joint project. Rallo, and all our ops down in Atlanta in the West End. So we got a joint project we did, which got a a, a deep story. Within itself, uh, which we plan to, you know, document right. and present to the people in a way that they can enjoy and entertain them. But um, just a little backstory, you know, I, I was on the run when we did the project, right. and um, you know, we, we 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 dug down and we did something called Smack Talk. The project is called Smack Talk. Okay. Explain. Why is it called Smack Talk? Because you Stop explained it to me once before. And so we've had Stop the conversation. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I, listen, hold on. I'm going to be honest with you, sister. Hold on. I might have said some good stuff just to get you on the project, right? So I might have made up, like, something so really hear, politically so correct. let me hear the real. <laughs> let me hear the real then. Let me hear what, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is all about. I want to know the real so deal. I know, you know stuff like that. I ain't do that. But smack talk is a play on words. Because we talking real slick. We talking real dope, 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 real Montega talk on there. Right? But it's also um, a real authentic picture of the opioid epidemic in America. Right? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so we got songs on there that's coming from the perspective of the dope fiend. Uh, we got a lot of, you know, so I don't want to give a lot yeah, away, you yeah. know. I'd rather do that when we all, you know. But, yeah, Smack Talk, we, it's not just what you would think. It's not just a, 
a, a, a tasteless glorification of So it's like a holistic view. Right? It's a holistic but, <laughs> view of, of what that was for real. Like but, what it was. Yeah, and it's coming from some guys that really come from that life, right? Mm -hmm. So when they hear the smack talk and they hear who's presenting that, they know, well, mm -hmm. these guys know what they're talking about, right? Okay. You did? So. Um, so we got the new projects. What is, if over the last three and a half years, what did you, what's the biggest thing you took away? What's the biggest thing you learned? What's the biggest change you made? You know what I'm saying? What, what was the biggest thing within that? Really the biggest, I, I won't say it's the biggest thing I learned, but just to reiterate to myself and anybody, uh, take care of your kids and your moms, because when it all comes to it, don't nobody but your mom and your kids love you, dog. That's real talk, and you know we got niggas revving up engines in the background and shit like that. But that's I'm a real. Fire them all on yeah, that, everybody, so. every, off with their heads, <laughs> off with their heads. But um, no, I think that that you know that's important. That's like super important because that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's been people, and I, you know, just being out in the world, I'm guilty of that myself. It's people that I know that I would see often, and then they 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 go away, and I I forget, and then it hit me like, oh, such and such, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen them in a minute. Oh, he, you know, he. So that's real. The only people who like constantly thinking about you and worrying about you is your mama and your kids. That's a fact. So um, I think that's a. a, a a real ass note to close on Indeed. and you know for people to to let that marinate and sit with that and but this ain't no like sad ending or nothing like oh, that nah, we this, lit. This, <laughs> this, this is the beginning we right lit. here this Would is the commencement sad? it's we about to lit, pop lit. off we here it's at brothers new and used tire and service what's the address come on throw it I out there for me 20, 2640 rice town road address address yeah, 2246, my bad. So that's where we at right now. We getting it in. We doing our shit for real right at the spot. We ain't going to do no bougie in no studio, nothing. We coming to the people, and um, I appreciate everybody who tunes in, who supports. We going to have all Ox information up, so you, if you ain't heard them, you can go hear them. You can go listen. You can support. You can be looking for the new projects coming up. Um, and that's what it is. It's your girl, Amber Hassan, Loudmouth Ghetto Girl. Hey. Loudmouth Ghetto Girl. 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 Loudmouth Ghetto I'm a pink cookie in a plastic bag and I still don't get my own metaphors After mama said that I can knock you out, what the hell am I trying to be better for? That's so raving, forevermore, poe pimping, tea sipping, flea market, free living, free lunches, free bro You steal my horse if you don't win a race and that's even if we don't ever speak though And if a nigga speak bad on your name, it's gonna be a big problem word to me, yo I'm a bit awkward in my own skin, but I own it, I'm on it I'm from a different world and this place sucks, I'm a E.T. phone home shit Beat me up, Scott, and let my spaceship be a Fleetwood with a brown kid If you don't like me, then blame my daddy, his name Tyrone says I don't take kindly to threats, but I do take credit and debit I don't ever bite my tongue, so if you ask, I tell you I said it, so They don't like me, they don't like me Choices can't get fed up, can't have voices. Hey. Black girls can't make choices, can't get fed up, can't have hey. voices. Hey. It's all circles, get birth and don't lose your purse. Boo, if it don't serve you. 
then fuck it, don't let it hurt you. Focus, siphon your spirits, move down, don't let them work you. Be quick to try and jump on your way, don't let them surf you. We all have an expiration date, nigga curve you. Can't son a bum, got four warriors, who I gave birth to. Still they revolve around my light just like the fucking earth do. They wanna swim in my waters, I built a wall at the border. My kids, my biggest fans, my sisters, my main supporters. So be careful if you step wrong to one of my daddy daughters. That was my tough face. <laughs>